like I need all the crystals today for for this one. Things just feel so insignificant right now. <laughs> like I've caught myself over the past week just feeling like so many things are insignificant. And I don't necessarily want to give specific examples, but <laughs> the one thing I will say is this whole work mentality. Um, you guys know, if you've been here for a while, that I've always been someone who has been very masculine oriented. I was very type A, very goals driven very accomplishment, achievement driven. And I know I've talked about this a lot and I have beaten <laughs> beaten this drum over and over and over again. But I feel like with each passing day, I step into a new awareness of what it actually means to be human. And working is not a part of that in the sense that efforting and doing something that you don't actually want to be doing, doing it for something external, like a paycheck, like for money, that was not supposed to be a part of this human experience. And I say that as someone, as a cosmic being who has lived other lifetimes and who knows that that's just not what this was supposed to be here. And I feel like this is just reaffirmed the more and more I go onto social media or I go onto TikTok and I see people filming themselves having these mental breakdowns and getting into their car to go to this job to ultimately, to ultimately support the very thing that they want nothing to do with. Like this is just what has been in my brain lately and I just need to get it out there. As a collective, there are so many more of us. Like if we could all just remember the law of divine oneness and recognize that whatever it is you're feeding into is what you're going to harvest. It's just like a garden. Whatever seeds you're planting, whatever roots are growing, like that's what you're going to harvest. That is going to be your harvest. So you're tending to your life just like you would a garden and you're planting these seeds and you're, you're putting effort into your life, your work, your job, your passions, your hobbies, your relationships, your, your everything. And it's kind of like the effort is already there. We know as humans, like it takes effort just to function. It's taking effort right now for me to just, you know, for me to like get ready and like sit down and like turn on the camera and get the angle right. And then, and then figure out what it is I want to say. And like, so there's going to be some kind of effort required. I have found there is a state of flow where you kind of, you exit like the matrix time and you're in this other world where you're just flowing and moving and things are happening and there's momentum and the energy's just going and it's like the flow state, right? When you're really into what you're doing. But so much of life isn't like that. And it's because of the the way we've structured it. This is what drives me insane is that humans structured it this way. And so if we structured something, we can unstructure it. And yet there are powers that be, there are authority figures that don't want that clearly that don't want that. And it ties back into profit and greed and corruption and power and really it comes down to greed and just continuing to push out this message of fear that we live in a world of lack and that it's not abundant and that we have to compete with one another. And so I really just had this thought the other day where I was like, what if I just put my effort, my energy, 
toward my money, because money is energy too, what if I only were to exchange energy with those in the collective? Meaning small business owners, local farmers, you know, like at the farmer's market and supporting artists and creators and looking at each individual as an extension of myself. I think about how beautiful this world can be if that were the mindset, if we just viewed everyone as an extension of ourself because that's that's exactly what everyone is and all of this is just a mirror the way we recognize our true divine nature and that we are sovereign beings and the way that we call that back in is by making sure that our energy whatever form our energy is taking is being used in a way that benefits the collective instead of the one percent our attention and our focus is the most powerful thing that we have and yet we give it away we give it away to fear we give it away to complaining about our jobs and our lives and our spouse and our kids and our family life and our friends and <clears throat> the toxic people that are you know, that are around us not realizing that we're calling all of that in because that's our internal state. And again, everything's just a mirror and you're just projecting outward what's what's going on inside of you anyways. And when our attention, when we're so distracted by fear and by all of the negative stuff, we are just perpetuating what what's currently happening and what's been happening for hundreds and hundreds of years. And so at some point, I hope we're smart enough to stop for a minute, which is what this past year was. It was a pause. It was a, it was an opportunity to stop and like really look around and assess what was actually going on <laughs> and where we are at as a species and where we're giving all of our attention, what we're giving all of our attention to. And so much of it is on fear. So much of it is on the news. So much of it is on lack based programming, telling you that there's not enough of anything and that hard work means success and that there are these certain things that you have to do in order to be on this path for success and so many people have realized how flawed this formula for success is because why am i going to waste my prime years where i am in the best shape the best health the best mindset my youthfulness why am i going to waste that sitting behind which is something that i did for 10 years by the way the whole corporate thing sitting behind a desk to just be a machine that's just churning out nothing, literally nothing. <laughs> when I'm on my deathbed, I'm not going to be thinking about the hours I spent behind my computer. And even now as a self-employed creative entrepreneur, I am not going to be thinking about how many podcasts I put out and how many listens it had and how many YouTube videos I put out and how many views those had. And I'm not going to be thinking about the fact that I didn't post something for two weeks. Like, it trickles down, the mentality trickles down because for so long I thought it was the, I thought it was the corporate mentality, but it's like, it's like a collective mentality. This is a collective issue. This is a collective, problem we are all rooted in lack and not enough and fear and constantly trying to prove ourselves to something external that doesn't actually exist in the first place but we've been told that it does 
And so that's what's happening is that a lot of people are getting to that point. I know this is what happened for me. You get to that point where you achieve and you accomplish and you, you do it all. You do it all and you succeed and you get there and then you're miserable. And then you're asking for what? That was so much effort. That was so much effort. Why did I put that much effort in to feel miserable? How can that be the outcome <laughs> of the formula for success? As a collective, we have so much trauma, collective trauma, that we are all working through. The problem is, is that we can't stay focused long enough to actually work through it and to fill that healed space, that empty space, with something positive. And so we're just in this cycle of recognizing something's wrong, like systemically, mentally, physically around us. Like we, we realize something's wrong. We have like this dedication, like I wanna, I wanna do the work. I wanna do the inner work. I wanna heal this. I wanna, I wanna learn more about this. And then what we don't, we don't finish the actual healing process, which is implementing the the positive change, the change you want to see, the change you want to be in the world. Like we don't actually take the time to implement that. It's like our focus is so short circuited. Like we get so distracted that we never finish the healing process of anything. And <laughs> it is so frustrating. It is so, it is so, so frustrating because it feels like it's just going to be this repetitive cycle and history is just going to continue to repeat itself and it's kind of like who knows if if we're going to evolve who knows if we're even going to make it who knows if we're if we're going to exist after all of this if we can't figure this out and come together and realize that we're more alike than we are different This like can segue into so many things, but I'm just seeing people being bullied off of social media and people just harassing other people and saying the most terrible things online because you know, they're keyboard cowards and they're hiding behind screens and you would never actually have the guts to say what you say behind the screen to someone's face. And yet you feel like there's this this mask or this this veil this wall and it's just kind of like anything that you put out there is going to be returned to you tenfold so so what i really want to get across is this your focus is everything what you put your attention on is everything and collectively, if we all continue to focus on the problems without going through that trauma and that healing process together and implementing the actual change that we want to see, all of this is just going to keep happening because our focus is going to be on a brief acknowledgement of collective trauma and complaining about it and saying we should know better we should we should be doing something different this isn't how things should be and we're just going to continue to sound like a broken record over and over and over again and the way that we implement the positive change the change we actually want to see is we become it we put our focus on that we put our attention on that and we move in that direction together and that's going to take not getting distracted by what the media and what the news and what all of this fear and lack based nonsense whatever is being thrown at you understanding that it's all programming it's all programming to keep you stuck and to keep you in lack and in fear because as long as you're in that place it's just going to perpetuate more of that you want to break out of the old system, you have to be the new system. You have to take 
the leap and the risk and create your like there's no there's no path there's no like you are the trailblazer you are the one who has to to figure it out that's what i did there was no creative entrepreneur full-time indie author content creator but also spiritual teacher there that that isn't a path that's my path that's the one that i blazed for myself there was no rule book there was no step-by-step -step process to get there and so that's that's what i really want to say is that there's never like none of it is external you don't need anything outside of you to figure out where you want to go to figure out that change you just become it you just decide you make a decision you decide and you become that and then becoming that is the process of unlearning all of the programming and the stuff that you've been taught ever since you were younger and blazing that new trail for yourself and then as time goes on and you get more comfortable and and you understand where this is headed and how this is how we reclaim our sovereignty, then you recognize just how important it is to share this message, the very one I'm sharing right now, with as many people as you possibly can for it to reach as many people as possible. I feel so blessed and grateful that I have a platform to be able to do this. And I'm not gonna sit here and show you Here's a day in the life vlog. This is what I'm doing today. Look at how I'm contributing to this old system that I want absolutely nothing to do with. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a decision. It's a decision. And as you blaze your own trail, you begin to embody that new way of being. And I can see where this is headed, but it, it can't just be me. It can't just be like five of you who watch this and decide to actually do something. It has to be every single one of us. It has to be every single one of us. Because I think about if everyone were to stop working at these dead-end jobs, these jobs that they hate, which oft, a lot of times are corporations and companies that are exploiting our natural resources, who are polluting the earth, who are just not doing their part in our evolution as humans and as souls, if everyone were to just not work those jobs anymore and were to forge their own path, we then create our own community as individuals, but also as a collective where my, what I'm earning and my money is going to other people who are forging their own path and who are out of that old system. It's kind of like, where are you going to expend your energy? Are you going to continue to expend it in the old system? Or are you going to give and nourish and help blossom, help this new system blossom? Because as long as we're just giving our attention and our energy and our focus and our money and our resources and, and everything to this old system, that is the one that is going to persist. And like I said, nothing's going to change and we're just going to keep seeing the same. It's just going to be more of the same. And your kids and your kids' kids and their kids' kids and their kids, like, it's just going to be the same. So we have an opportunity to change that. And so with all of my heart and soul, I just hope that this reaches as many, I'm putting the intention out there right now, I just want this to reach as many people as possible who are ready to hear this message and who understand what's actually at stake here. And for those of you who are ready to hear that you are free 
you are sovereign. You already have everything you need. You don't have to impress anyone. You don't have to meet some gold standard. You don't have to burn out. You don't have you don't have to effort and work so damn hard. You don't have to do any of that. That is all just a construct. It is all human conditioning, societal conditioning. That's all it is. And the more of us that stay in that societal conditioning, again, that's what's going to persist. I am living exactly how I always hoped that I would. And so that's why I'm sharing this message because everyone can have this. You already do have it. It's just taking the time to recognize what's, what's already there, what's already around you, what you actually need, and choosing that, even if it's scary, even if it's hard, even if it's a giant unknown and a giant question mark. I hope you choose the path less traveled, the one that isn't even forged. And I hope that before I leave this earth, I can say we all chose that path. And now that's the most walked path, is the one that your soul actually wants to go down and not what you were told was right or good or better or successful.